Hey guys, welcome back. Bonjour tout le monde. That was freaking sick. I am actually here right now. Time for the stadium fact of the day. Time for best of the ballpark. This place is insane. It's a final here from the Target Centers. I am checking off a bucket list for one stadium at a time. Hey guys, welcome back to Garrett Stadium Travel. Today is stadium vlog number 22. Right now, I'm in New York City, and today I'm going to watch an original six matchup at Madison Square Garden. It's a matinee, 1 p.m. start. The Rangers are taking on the Bruins. Both of these teams are off to hot starts, sitting at first and second in the Eastern Conference, respectively, so it should be a really good game. Before that, I'm going to check out the 9-11 Memorial and the NHL's flagship store before heading off to the game. Come along with me. Let's go. So I just finished up at the 9-11 Memorial and Museum. If you have the chance, definitely check it out. Uh, it's really mesmerizing stuff. Uh, but enough with the somber stuff. It's time to get it on. We're going to the NHL store and then off to MSG. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm up here in the 200 level of Madison Square Garden and it's time for the stadium fact of the day. The stadium fact of the day today is all about curves. One of the features that makes Madison Square Garden so unique is the roof. While arenas are always created with a convex roof design, the team that designed Madison Square Garden and architect Charles Luckman created the only arena in the world with a concave roof design. It's super iconic and unmistakable when walking into the bowl of this arena. The roof is also built with sound absorption technology, which allows the arena to serve as a mecca for both music and sports. I'm gonna explore a bit more and then hopefully enjoy an epic game. This place is amazing, iconic. The world's most famous arena. I'm so excited to be here, let's go. Since the very beginning, he's been ready to go. You've got to be kidding me. 
Ladies, welcome back the last Ranger player ever to wear number 30, first ballot Hall of Famer, Rangers legend, Dan Rumford. of the season, a power play goal scored by number 20,
It's a final here for Madison Square Garden. The New York Rangers took this one seven to four. This was an unbelievable game. So glad I got to see it. Madison Square Garden really is the world's most famous arena. This place is iconic, it's awesome. Uh, no rest for the wicked because I'm heading to UBS Arena to watch the Islanders. After I do that, I'm gonna head back to the hotel, back to the city, and then tell you guys what I saw. Peace out for now. Hey guys, just got back to the hotel and I'm gonna tell you guys what I saw from Madison Square Garden. So first off, the atmosphere. The atmosphere was unreal. Uh, it's one of the best atmospheres I've seen at a pro sporting event. It was just unreal. There was a great goal song. I really love the fan interaction with that. The whoa, hey, hey, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it was great. All the chants were fan uh, started and the whole arena was chanting. Definitely helps when you're beating one of the best teams in the league. Definitely helps for morale, but uh, the crowd was really, really good. 10 out of 10. It was great. Next up is venue. Madison Square Garden is really, really iconic. They don't call it the most famous arena for no reason. It had a very intimate feeling despite being, uh, I believe it's like an 18,000 seat arena. It felt pretty intimate uh, because of kind of the closed in uh concave roof design which i think is pretty cool pretty good uh the downsides which are small i didn't want to take too much away from it for them is uh some obstructed views if you're high up in the 200 level the 400 level the 300 level uh the chase bridge comes down and obstructs your view you're not going to be able to see the jumbotron so if you do like uh, having a view of the Jumbotron in its entirety. Uh, definitely look at the 3D venue. Uh, that's always something that I recommend. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and additionally, uh, it can be hard to navigate at times. Uh, I was sitting in the 400 level and I had to ask a couple, couple of employees where it was because the signage wasn't super good. Every, everything said it was going to the 300 level, not too much to the 400, but those are small things overall. This place is iconic. There's so much history. Uh, and yeah, next up is access. I thought access was pretty good. Uh, definitely up there. Transit is great. There's subways. There's, you know, your commuter rail, New Jersey Transit, uh, Long Island Railroad, all that kind of stuff. You can take, take Amtrak if you wanted to. Uh, it's really, really good. The one thing is, is that you can't really drive in this city. And that's the one thing that brings it down a bit. You can't really drive. You don't want to drive in this city if you're a tourist at all. And you can take cabs and you can take Ubers, but they're super expensive. You're going to want to take public transit. And just because that's usually the only option in New York City, it does bring it down a bit. And lastly, we have pricing. Pricing was the one thing that brought this down. Um, it's really expensive. The tickets were expensive. The Rangers are up around the top of the league in terms of ticket prices. Is it worth it? I think so, but still having tickets that expensive really sucks. The food, super expensive. The merchandise, super expensive. Everything was super expensive. Was it, was it worth it for the most part? Yes, but you wish experiences like that could be just a little bit more affordable. So yeah, that's everything I got. You know, this is a amazing arena. So with that, my final ranking for Madison Square Garden for the Rangers is a 10 for atmosphere, a nine for venue, an eight for access and a six for pricing, bringing it to a total of 33 out of 40. This is definitely one of the best arenas that I've been to in the NHL. All the history, it's iconic, one of the best. And if this isn't on your bucket list of NHL arenas to go to, you got to get it up near the top. It's uh, it's a must go. So thank you for watching. If you got this far, uh, if you're new here, this is Garrett Stadium Travel, where I'm traveling to all 124 major pro sports teams, seeing a game at their home stadium. So if you like that kind of content, sports content, stadium content, consider liking, subscribing, sharing, all that cool stuff. And uh, yeah, follow along for the journey. I'm checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.